This comprehensive cancer center will transform our campus, placing Nebraska at the leading edge of cancer care, research, and education. We are indebted to Pamela Buffett for this gift. Um, Pam has been talking about wanting to do something for the university, something to honor Fritz, who was the most wonderful person ever, and um, something for cancer because of um, Fritz's battle with that disease. So uh, one day it just dawned on me that here was this perfect opportunity. Ken is a very close friend of our family and his leadership at the Cancer Center has been really inspirational for us and especially for my dad who was treated here. Um, and it seemed to me this was the perfect thing for Pam. It had all three of the elements um, that she was interested in uh, contributing to. So this is a huge, huge honor for our family, all of us. Pam is so excited, I cannot even describe how excited she is and honored to be part of this. We've been working on this project for some time in designing uh, this uh, new complex that will integrate state-of-the-art cancer research with state-of-the-art cancer care. And having a facility like this in, in Nebraska is truly uh, transformational for our campus, but also of tremendous benefit for our patients uh, in our region, in our state, uh, and actually a uh, national referral center. This is a new day for cancer care and research, not only in this state, but in the region, in the nation, and the world. For our patients who come from all 50 states and 42 countries around the world, uh, this gift will provide the foundation upon which we will continue to build programs that provide life-changing therapy in all cancers. We are humbled by the generosity of Pamela Buffett and dedicate ourselves to seizing the opportunity that this gift affords us. Uh, this cancer center is gonna serve as a beacon of hope for all of those whose lives are gonna be touched by cancer and that beacon's gonna get brighter and brighter each and every day. So the whole design of this facility was to integrate uh, cancer research with cancer care and, and as, uh, as all of medicine is evolving towards more precision um, medicine uh, using um, um, genomic information from patients to, 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 de to determine the best therapy for individuals. And the cancer field is moving uh, faster than some of the other areas in terms of using this information. But the Human Genome Project completed in 2003, a $3 billion 13-year uh, project to sequence the human genome, is now allow us, allowing us to look at individual cancer specimens and do a cancer genome project even locally to, to understand the specific drivers of each individual cancer. So as opposed to the treatments of uh, cancer patients uh, uh, up until now where we've been treating everybody with similar cocktails of treatments with chemotherapy and radiation, different surgical approaches, the future is actually to take information from the patient's own specific tumor, analyze it at the molecular level, and then offer that patient a, a specific uh, treatment designed specific uh, for their individual tumor. So the integration of having cancer researchers and cancer care uh, personnel in one facility, having them be able to talk to each other in terms of uh, what the research uh, means for that individual patient, how research can help that individual patient uh, uh, get the very best treatment um, is certainly the area of uh, all cancer centers are evolving into in terms of integration of cancer research and cancer care. And this facility will literally uh, put us in a position to make sure that we can recruit the very best faculty in both areas of clinical care and clinical research and have them work well together uh, for the benefit of patients.